Good morning from Sparks, Nevada. And today I was going in to make my delivery and well, apparently there was not an appointment set up which kind of throws a wrench into everything. And if you're anything like me, your brain starts coming up with all these things. Oh, well, I'm going to be late for this and I won't be able to do that and on and on and you just got to tell your brain to chill out because things always do that. Something always comes up. There's something going to happen to throw a little wrench in your works and it's no sweat. So on the way to turn my truck in for maintenance, I'm talking to Rocket and I told her, you know, it just occurred to me that one of the main reasons, if not the single biggest reason that... I struggled in the beginning with marketing online and sales and stuff like that is because number one I did not pay enough attention to other people I was a poor listener which I guess is common and also I didn't follow the the premise put out by Dale Carnegie I think it was Dale Carnegie might have been somebody else Anyway, the concept is seek first to understand and then to be understood. And there's a very good reason for this. Most people, when they first hear it, they believe it has to do with being polite and being a good listener. And it does cause you to be a better listener. But what's even more important or equally important is if you do not understand where that other person is coming from you have a very difficult time persuading them or showing them your point of view because you have to speak in that person's language you have to actually stand where they are and see things from their point of view because if you don't you really will not understand completely what they're telling you and that makes it a thousand times more difficult to make yourself understood because what it turns into is you're stating your position and they're stating their position but there's no meeting in the middle and it's always your responsibility I realize there's two people in the conversation two sides to every story and everything else but whenever there's a chance for someone to be the one who takes the initiative about understanding and things like that, it's always you. Don't ever expect anyone else to do it. It's, it's like the meme that you see sometimes on social media where it's, it's not my responsibility what the other person thinks about what I said. I said this, and that's the way I'm coming from. That's completely wrong. If you intend to communicate with other people, it is absolutely your responsibility to deliver understanding, not just to say what you want to say and hope they get it. Because if you leave it at that, you're, you're going to be a very poor communicator. It's just imagine in the army, the officer is giving orders and he just puts it out there, doesn't allow questions and says, this is what it is. So do that. And he doesn't realize that there's 20 other people there with their own point of view looking at something and he's got to be incredibly clear so that each person understands exactly what he's talking about. This concept is so important in marketing because it all goes back to your market. If you understand that you are talking to people who see things a certain way because of their background, because of their job, because of the things they like to do, because of the things they've bought in the past. All of these myriad things, if you understand those things, it makes it incredibly simple to explain your offer to them and even better to tailor an offer that a person interested in those things is most likely to jump on. So that's why you want to do your best to understand other people, especially your market. It's one of the biggest kept secrets in hidden in plain sight in all of marketing online. That's what I got for you today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.